Okay, we're going to show you how to use the lifting device on the horse sprayer today. So these sprayers all come with a device that helps you lift it up if you don't have a safe way of lifting up on the frame here. So the safest way to lift this sprayer, you know, big double hydraulic lift that pushes up on the frame. Um, if you don't have one of those, we can use the lifting device. So first step you're going to do, remove the big plastic cover that covers up your wheel motor. The next thing you're going to do is take this bracket off right here. So one bolt underneath or two bolts underneath. There's two bolts underneath on each one of these cylinder stops. So you'll take those off and you know, needless to say, you have to make sure the tank is empty. So once you have all those steps done, you're going to take the air out of the suspension. It's very critical the air is removed from the suspension, otherwise you could break the lifting device. So easiest way to let the air out, just crack this nut on top of each one of the airbags. All four of the airbags have to be done. So get rid of all the air out of the suspension first. So once you do that, the bags will look like this. We'll take a look at this side over here. So we've removed the bracket right here. We've removed the O-ring and the cylinder stop underneath. The last thing is you'll put the lifting bracket in. So once you finish all those steps, there's two hooks back here behind the lifting device. You hook that behind the suspension and this hangs loose now, right? So push up on it and you'll put your bottle jack right in here. So if you don't let the air out of the suspension, this piece right here comes down for, right? You can kind of see the mark of where it was sitting. If this suspension is down here like this and the air is still in the bag and you try to lift up on here, there's a possibility that this might slip out. And if this slips out, you're going to damage either the sprayer or the lifting device.